and the humorless tube bosses who ordered the withdrawal of an ad featuring a hot dog over obesity fears. And today we're joined in the studio by two presenters, friends. We usually pretend, pretend we've got one. Uh, we're pretending we've got two friends today, and they are political campaigns consultant Rebecca Ryan and journalist and author Ella Whelan. Thank you for both coming along. Uh, we're going to cover this story at the end of the show, but let's uh, kick off the show with it as well. Uh, Transport for London, uh, the mayor, London Mayor Sadiq Khan's uh, transport system uh, somehow or other seems to think it has a crucial role to play in the obesity crisis, if we have one. Not sure we do. Uh, and uh, recently they took down an advert for a stage play featuring a wedding cake, because you, if you eat a wedding cake, you might get <laughs> fat. And now a comedian has advertised his tour with a picture of a hot dog. He's had to replace that with a cucumber, because hot dogs make you fat. <sighs> what on earth does Khan think he's doing? Well, it's just, this is ridiculous, isn't it? Because I don't think someone seeing a picture of a hot dog or seeing a picture of a wedding cake, especially if they're advertising completely different things, is going to suddenly make people run out and think, oh, I need to get hot dog and cake right now. We do have an obesity crisis, without a doubt, but um, I don't think being puritanical about adverts on the tube is going to move the needle one jot. It's just, it's ludicrous. It's sort of, you know, it's sort of controlling... Uh, authoritarian behaviour on steroids, frankly. What are the statistics for our obesity crisis? How many people are in crisis because of their obesity? 60% of the what population. It's 60%? It's not uh, overweight. This isn't obese. actually about obesity, though, because uh, necessarily, because a number of years ago, I think it was 2016 or something like that, that there was a big story about banning adverts on the tube around the Beach Body Ready adverts, yeah. if you remember. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, advertising the lose weight powder, whatever. You know that stuff that people mm. put in it's milk. It's called cocaine. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and uh, I remember at the time going to the protest and interviewing women who were calling for Sikh Khan to ban the adverts. And it was all about the idea that people are in are sort of sheeple are influenced by what they see and can't control themselves, and this would make women feel bad. <laughs> so that at the time was talking about things that would make you too thin and now it's about things that would allegedly make you too fat but the the, the whole issue is the idea that TFL by extension Sadiq Khan thinks that Londoners or tourists are unable to think for themselves and mm. need to be protected from exactly, in this exactly. case images just, of hot dogs we're just idiots you know? exactly. what it's do you so think it, it is patronising what do you think is worse uh, Rebecca uh, the child obesity crisis or the child starvation crisis well, well they like, kind of like <laughs> neck and neck, are they? You know, I think there's a, hard I think to square there, you know, one with the other, isn't I, it? I, yeah, exactly. I mean, this is the thing. I think that kids do have an issue, but it comes down to the parents. You know, I mean, you do see your kids nowadays in schools. I've got, I've got a daughter. That, that you know, there, there are, they have got a, a weight issue. A, a larger percentage of them now than than when we were growing up. But it comes down to parents taking responsibility, doesn't it? And mm. and actually seeing a hot dog. The hot dog. There's not really anything too wrong with a hot dog. It's not, it's not you know full yeah. on cheese, double bacon burger or whatever like that. But it's getting into that debate, like you say, where it's it's too patronising to think that people can't just look at a hot dog and then they're immediately going to eat... It's not even advertising them. eating hot dogs. That's the <laughs> bit that makes absolutely no dog... sense. It's advertising a comedy tour. A hot yeah. dog is a square meal. You've got yeah. carbs, protein, a bit of veg like, on top of your like ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. The, but I actually think that the upset... Talking about obesity or people's health is fine and interesting and important. But we are getting into the realm now where it's sort of crossing over almost into eating disorder territory, where you're you're messaging people that food is to be feared, that food is terrible, um, and that you'll you'll do it if you even look at some some manner of junk food, whether it's a hot dog or wedding cake, then you'll be in danger. I mean, that's not a great yeah, message I mean, to be sending young people either. Right? I'm all about I'm all about people just making informed choices, and I think that actually for a long time we haven't taught basics in school like home economics. Most kids out there probably couldn't even make a ham sandwich. <laughs> let alone, or, you know, cook an egg. That's, that, I think, is a big problem because when people can't actually cook for themselves using fresh ingredients that are affordable, then they're going to reach for the chicken nuggets that are, yeah. you know, endlessly more cheaper in the supermarket frozen section than something like a lean piece of chicken breast. So, exactly. you know, and what that, actually that got, is an issue for and me. what we've actually got is an anxiety epidemic amongst teenagers. You know, teenage girls, particularly at the moment, they, they are just so stressed out by, you know, what's the right thing to eat, as you were saying, you know, about their weight and all of those kinds of things. And just, they need to learn resilience and they should be learning it from their parents. And, and society should just be carrying on around them and not trying to, you know, edit every single thing that they see because it's just making matters worse. Well, the people I have sympathy for are, are the parents who are often the single parents, the mums, who can't afford all these fresh, wonderful ingredients. The, the problem is 
the system we have now is a lot of these processed foods are much, much cheaper yeah. than healthy, uh, fresh foods. And so they get the cheaper option. But, but maybe we've got to do something about that because uh, the pound in their pocket is what is dictating their diets. Uh, yeah.